In July of 2012, Tri-State Diving was contracted to recover an 18-foot Bayliner I.O. boat that had burned on its boat lift and sank when it was being towed to the Access to remove it from Pelican Lake, located in Ottertail County, Minnesota. On Monday, July 16th, two Tri-State Diving crews spent a little over two hours on the water using side imaging sonar to locate the wreck. The wreck was found in about 45 feet of water with the stern buried in the silt and the bow sticking up at about a 70 degree angle. On Tuesday, five crew went back to Pelican Lake to perform the recovery. Right there, see it? Here's, here it is, guys. Can't see where this is. I'll lock it here in a second. I'll zoom in until oh, there it is. See the shadow it's casting? Guys. There it is. Hey, there it is. Where? Oh, yeah. Is it sitting like this? Yep. Can you get a picture of it? Motor down. Huh? Oh, he's got video. Oh, it's bottom heavy. Yeah. So it's at 45 feet to the bottom. She comes up to about 20 or 32 feet, huh? The first in-water task is to follow the marker line down and attach a reference line directly to the wreck. Next, the team attaches a 2,000 pound lift bag at the bow. The divers have full face masks with calm, which allows them to coordinate the surface supplied air for inflating the lift bag.
When the wreck finally lifts off the bottom, it brings up quite a silt cloud with it. Next, the team will attach a second lift bag to the stern of the wreck to bring it horizontal in the water. With a shallow bay at the access, a long line was attached to the wreck and it was pulled closer with a pickup from shore.
Guys, it's set up for a 21 foot deck boat. Okay. I think it should be all right there. I mean, it's not going to hurt anything. I think it's where we're at. Enough fun for one day. Here is a fire extinguisher that was on board. The stern drive is about all that is salvageable from this boat. Pelican Lake is infested with zebra mussels, an invasive species, so all the dive gear, equipment, and boat need to be cleaned to prevent their spread to other bodies of water.